Hello and welcome. I'm Fernando, a GP in the UK. What are angiotensin receptor necrolysis inhibitors? They are used specifically in the treatment of heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. At present, the only available one is sacubitril valsartan. If you are interested in learning how the combination of sacubitril valsartan works, here is some additional information. The first thing to understand is that the pathophysiology of heart failure involves an abnormal activation of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. This leads to vasoconstriction, hypertension, increased aldosterone levels, increased sympathetic tone, and eventually cardiac remodeling, all of which will worsen the disease over time. ACE inhibitors or ARBs play a major role in reducing heart failure morbidity and mortality by blocking this abnormal activation. At the same time that the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is activated, the natriuretic peptide system is also activated, hence the elevated BNP and anti-pro-BNP seen in heart failure. This is a compensatory physiological mechanism that leads to vasodilation, naturesis and diuresis. As a result, the natriuretic peptide system decreases blood pressure, lowers the sympathetic tone and reduces aldosterone levels. The natriuretic peptide system functions antagonistically to the renin angiotensin aldosterone system and has a favourable effect on heart failure. What most of us don't know is that natriuretic peptides are broken down by an enzyme called neprilysin. Sacubitril valsartan is a combination product. Sacubitril is a prodrug that upon activation acts as a neprilysin inhibitor. So it works by blocking the action of the neprilysin enzyme, thus preventing the breakdown of natriuretic peptides which leads to a prolonged duration of the favourable effects of these peptides. However, because neprilysin also breaks down angiotensin II, inhibiting neprilysin will accumulate angiotensin II. For this reason, a neprilysin inhibitor, such as sacubitril, cannot be used alone. It must always be combined with an ARP to block the effect of the excess angiotensin II. This is the reason for the combination with valsartan. Another important substance broken down by neprilysin is bradykinin. Neprilysin inhibition will also cause a build-up of bradykinin. Therefore, sacubitril cannot be used with an ACE inhibitor due to an increased risk of angioedema if both these drugs are combined or given in a short time frame. And this is why when switching from an ACE inhibitor to sacubitril valsartan, the patient must undergo a 36-hour washout period to lower the risk of angioedema. So that is it. We have come to the end of this episode. Remember that this is not medical advice, but only my summary and my interpretation of the guidelines. You must always use your clinical judgment. Thank you for watching and goodbye.